Skadoosh, my ninjas. Welcome back. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. We got some Dominaria. I don't know what these things are doing here. We'll just have to find out in a bit. Um, yeah, so this playmat behind me, I asked the question, what's the dumbest thing you ever did? Now, during the live stream, which should be later on tonight, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It's going to be a big one. Um, there's these two boxes we're going to play a game with. Uh, I don't exactly know what's all going to happen, but it's going to be crazy. Just like this video, okay, man? So let's all flip out, because now's the time to flip out, because it's Friday. We're going to have a lot of fun in live stream tonight. Calm down. It's not that serious. It's pretty serious there, Bill. I have the dullest blade in the world, but you know what I did do? I purchased one of these. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Yeah. That's fun, huh? Yeah. Fun. Don't do that. All right? God, you guys are crazy, man. Uh, so, yeah, the person who uh, did the dumbest thing. Now, there, there was a lot. There was a lot of dumb things. I'm even going to announce, like, a runner-up uh, tonight as well um, in tonight's live stream. You guys don't want to miss the live stream tonight. I can't say it enough. It'll be here on YouTube. It will be here on YouTube. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to go over a bunch more of the dumbest things people have done. There was over 500 comments. C clearly, I'm sure there were things that were more dumb, but uh, I just picked one. It was a random thing. So there you have it. Now let's talk about Dominaria. The interesting thing about Dominaria. Ooh, that's a good card. Probably going to go up in value a tiny bit. Not really. Don't buy those. Um, the interesting thing about Dominaria is this. Dominaria has recently gone up in price. As I uh, as I was telling you guys, you know, you might want to pick up some boxes. The last time I did a Dominaria video, or the last time I did an opening of Dominaria. Oh, my! Smack me in the ball sack! Ba-boom! Oh, hot damn! Woo! Pound town, baby! Pound town over your face! Oh, my God! Starting things off early. All right, all right, calm down. It's not that serious. Oh, baby, you better believe it's serious. Oh, my God. All right, wow. Holy smother of ball sweat. We just, whoo, doggy. I have a good history with this young chap. That's all I'm saying. Me and him, that's like my next to kin. I don't think you guys understand this, man. It is real. It is a very real deal here. You must all know this. Oh, God, okay. Go with this pack. Put that sucker aside. Don't ask questions. Just, just understand that's what's going down here. This sucker's aside. Right here. Right here. See it? Right there. You can see it just barely on the camera. Oh, my God. Mother of pearl. Sweet baby Jesus breastfeeder. Oh, man. Oh, God. Every time, man. What is up with the piles? Why are you guys messing up my piles, man? Jeez. I, I look away for one second. I pull a decent card. A decent one. And you guys flip out and just make my piles all a mess. un believable man. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay, the thing about Dominaria, as I was saying, um, the booster boxes have gone up in value. The singles have gone down in value. I know. Sergeant at the arms and a steel leaf, you know, and that's pretty crazy when you think about it. Um, there's, there, yes, this is, they're going to stop printing Dominaria. One last little print run. Uh, not even print run, but one last little, uh, you know, run around uh, to some LGSs, uh, as which was predicted weeks ago. And uh, that's that, baby. This is a sweet card. Making a deck around that card, it's a really cool card. I'm not telling you any more about that cool card. You're going to have to just find out, all right? But, man, we already got the Tethry. What more do you need from me, fellas? Ladies, ladies, what more do you need from me? And don't say a baby. I, 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 there's too many of me out there already. You don't want any of that. Uh, Daring Ark, all right, we got one of those. This is a firebox. Firebox! We got fire. Good times, good times, great oldies, man. Oh, my gosh. All right, um, yeah, the price has gone up on the booster boxes. You're looking at right now paying close to... I would say a 105 um, if you're going to get a fair deal on these right now. But when the hype train hit, I mean, the prices jumped to like 110, 115. I picked mine up for like 104, I think, and that was just like three, four days ago. So, I mean, there's that Memorial to Glory. Um, and then we got the aerial. So, yeah, don't don't get crazy. If you, def <laughs> if you got money to splurge, I'd say maybe go pick yourself up a case. You could probably get a better deal. I've even seen some people 
um, on Facebook, um, selling uh, cases, you know, like, like little you know mom and pop shops, selling cases for relatively cheap. There's uh, our crappy mythic right there. I cannot complain. No, that's not a crappy mythic. She's pretty cool uh, in the right build. Whenever you cast a historic spell, draw a card. She's probably going to find her way into uh, some builds coming up here soon. Believe that. She will find her way into some builds. Because we have a lot of legendary cards coming up here. It's going to be crazy sauce, man. Um, you can find deals out there is what I'm saying, you know. Don't go paying, paying some jacked up price on the product, uh, you know. But there's people out there that are going to hoard the product and all that crazy crap, you know. And they stocked up on these and, you know, they make announcements. Ah, oh, bam! This card went down, though. So this is another... It was a good card. It was a lot better. This has been a stupid good box, man. I don't... Woo, huh? Did you hear that? That was outside the cheek. That's right. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, that was outside the cheek. I popped that one. But Benalia is even dropped. But it's getting two prints in the next uh, in the upcoming Challenger deck. Oh, Helm of the Host, another good card, man. Really cool. Oh, and we got a foil uh, Leak Knight. That's a good one. That's probably like five, six bucks. Um, same with the Host. The Host is like four bucks, you know. Pretty good. This box is uh, on fire. Kind of like my pants right now. You know, well, I have red hair. What do you want from me? Hey, you learn, you live, you learn, you know? Do the curtains match the drapes? I get asked that quite often, honestly. I think it's a little intrusive, so we're not going to go that route. But the answer is yes. Moving on, we have a Malice. Another Joseph. We got a Jose up in here. Another Jose. Wow, we are on fire up in this piece, man. We This has probably been one of the better box openings of Dominaria. And uh, I must say, I did not purchase this from the eBay channel Fireball site. I'm just saying. Memorial to Folly. Grand Warlord Rada. All up in the piece. There it is. Very, very impressed with this. Now, what I think a good way to buy this, to, if you're purchasing online on eBay, this is some advice. Take it from someone who knows a few things, okay? I've been on eBay a lot. Um, I think a good route to go when you're purchasing this product or any product, any booster box, if you're going to eBay. Yeah, you want to go at reputable sources. Um, they're like, um, there's a sports cards and more or whatever. They always have a great deal and they're legit sauce. Uh, and you can take that straight from the Moss Boss. They're huge. They got a lot of feedback, you know, and they're really good. Uh, I would, I'll, I will always go back to them. Flame of Keldon, First Eruption. Yeah, they goose. Um, but one thing I have noticed is from the smaller sellers, look for people who are selling like six boxes. It'll say six available or something, you know, three sold or six available. That's a good thing because how many boxes come in a case? Six to answer your question. Uh, Urza's Ruinous Blast. There you go. I speculated. I purchased a hundred of these just saying about 20 cents a pop. We'll see how that does. Um, just a little tidbit of information there. But, yeah, that way it kind of tells you that, hey, they got a case of this, you know. And the odds of you getting, you know, like one of those good boxes with the case hit. Or, it's just more evenly spread and fair. When you're buying from someone, you know, who maybe has like two available, three available, they could have pulled all the good stuff, you know, already. And they're just dumping off, you know, because they think there might not be anything good in the last two boxes or something. It's just something, you know, you really got to think about in the back of your mind, you know. It's something I think about. So there's that. It, and I think it does work. Because this was one of those cases. This person had six boxes available. I purchased two of them. And this box has been lit, man. This box has been lit like my 18th birthday. Right of Bells and Lock. And we got the Power Stone Shard and Foil. Pretty cool indeed, man. Our foil slot has been okay. That's only three foils, though. I guess I'm a little disappointed with the foils. Just a little disappointed. You know, sometimes, guys, in life, you just have to have a little fun and roll the dice. You know what I'm saying? You just got to get a little goofy, you know, a little crazy, you know, live a little, you know, get a little wacky, you know, do a little little crazy, little wacky stuff, you know. And, um, you know, you just got to put some, you got you to put your foot down every now and then. You know, you just got to, you just got to put your foot down. Honestly, that's, that's all you got to do sometimes is put your foot down and you'll be okay. But we here on Bad Boy Gaming like to go a little different route. We like to stand out in the crowd and have what we call a little bit of moth sauce fun, all right? That's not exactly what we call it, but we can call it that if you'd like. You can call your mom and ask her about it. All right, I'm not sure how this is going to work. This is going to be interesting. I'll give you the side view. And don't try this at home. I'm a trained professional. I have my limo license. That's true. We're going to go right in the mouth. Right in right in her mouth. There we go. That's where she likes it. All right, ready? And off we go. Oh. Oh, baby. Oh, my God, honey. Honey. Oh. 
Moss Boss Drill Sauce. Oh, more power. Oh, goodness. We got a hole here. What did you guys do? What would you, what did you guys do? Oh my, oh my God, look at her face. Look at her face. What, ah. Oh. Did we get a perfect little drill there? I think so, Bob. I think so. Look at that, look at that, right through. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. Let's see how we did. Woo! Okay, hey, why did we do that? Nobody knows, but it gets the people going. We're gonna see what's in that pack in just a moment. Gotta pause for station identification. This video is brought to you by all my patrons who pick apples. I wanna say the bad words, but then YouTube catches it and they're like, we don't like you anymore. So we can't always say the bad words, guys. Woodland Cemetery, peta peta on my bladder. Look at that, man. Seal away foil, boxes on. <laughs> this box has seriously been nothing but amaze balls. And if you know what I mean, you know, space balls, shout out, man. Who who grew up watching that, huh? Good old space ball. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you do. It's quite a good comedy. That short fella. From Star, oh, not from Star Wars, from Ghostbusters is actually in it. And it does give me the tickles, you know, every now and then. You horrors. Ooh, we got another foil. Uh, haphazard bombardment and a foil planes. Get a load of that sweet sauce, Moss Boss. I don't like how they have the card in the back there. I'm pretty sure Dominaria is gonna, like, well, War of the Spark is gonna follow the Dominaria model. You know, with the legendary card in the back like that. Uh, but that's going to be your Planeswalker card, you know, or some, something like that. I'm pretty certain that's how it goes. Barrage and Famine Incarnate, all right? He never really took off. He's fun in some builds, but, you know, he's not really done anything for me, honestly. Just got to throw it out there, you know, I'm just saying. Um, person who took home this playmat. And again, I'm, there's going to be some other winner, you know, announced tonight during live stream. Um, I'll, I'll go over these yet again. But again, I just picked one at random. And I thought this was funny because I had a friend that had the same thing happen to him. Dumbest thing you ever did. This wasn't just Magic the Gathering, guys. This was just a broad, okay? All across your life. Um, Den of all trades responded, I was drunk once. I thought I kissed a lady, but turns out that she was he. Ha <laughs> Skadoosh. <laughs> Worthy of the playmat in the background. Make sure you email me at mossbergswerve at gmail.com. I thought that was hilarious. I had a buddy, and, and he did the exact same thing, man. It was too funny. I was dying laughing. You got the eldest reborn. Settle the score. Yaya Ballard pulling out the Planeswalkers. Man, what a pack. Settle the score. Eldest reborn and Yaya Ballard. All in one action filled pack. Ho ho, hot dog. There was also two cards, two rares or something that went with it. I can't remember what they were, but uh, I'll make sure you get hooked up. Play up. Make sure you email me. Thank you very much. Final parting. Thrawn Temporal Gateway. If you haven't seen my build on that, nasty deck tech I got out there. It truly is something to see. It is something to bestow upon. Kind of like the birds and the bees. You know what I'm saying? All right. Swarm. Might. Wait. Sulfur Falls. This box has it alls. Wow, man. I, you can't do much better than this. I challenge thee. I challenge thee. I mean, if we pulled like a foil Teferi along with a normal Teferi, that would be just freaking insanity. But we already pulled the big guy, man. Howling Elix Mastery. Not bad. Not bad at all. Some of this, some of that. It's a licker. That's right. Takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Oh, God. Moving along. Moving along. We got the Triumph of Garard. The set of the score again, and on Sarah's wings, followed by Multani. Multani will probably slowly creep in value. I mean, it's a powerful card, man. You can throw that in a gate deck, and that thing is a beast. I mean, that thing's really a beast. It's nuts. It's, oh, don't mess with that thing, man. Triumph of Lerard again. Look at that. Got a bunch of them. And Tashar, Ancestor's Apostle. That card, I think, didn't that go up a tiny? No, probably not. That card will probably never go up in value. Uh, probably never. Even if there's a fire, probably won't go from value much. So, you know, there's that. There's speculation. Uh, we got another Song of Frey Isle, the Sentinel, the Thalid, and Avra. This is a fun card. I haven't made a deck around it yet. I probably should, though. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Let's see what we destroyed. Oh, my God. We all want to see this. This is not good. Oh, it's bulging. What happened to your chest, young man? Oh, my God. Look at this pack. Look at this pack. 
We got an Admit Will, the Opt, a Gitu. <laughs> All right, let's get past all the friggin' comments. All right, here we go. Tragic Poet, Yavmia, Yavmaya, all right. Pardic Wanderer, Chainer's Torment for our Uncommon, Thalid Soothsayer, Sporn Crown Thalid. Don't tell me we have a foil back here, do we? Traxos. That was kind of sad. I do like Traxos. Oh, no foil. Just destroyed the Traxos. I'll also send out uh, to the Playmat winner uh, this sweet sauce Traxos right here, baby. Look at that. He's got a nice punch hole in him. Who wouldn't want a punch hole Jordan Lowe's guy? Then I'll sign it to. So you know where it came from. You know it's good because it came from Bad Boy Gaming. Uh, skadoosh! If you guys enjoy this kind of like crazy content, make sure you always hit that like button. It does help out a lot. If that's all I'm asking of you to do, and you come back to my videos again and again and again, you know, by all means, hit the like button, man. <laughs> just, just hit the like button. Like every time you tune in, just hit the like button. It takes a second. Believe it or not, making a video like this video right here, overall, this will take about an hour and 15 minutes. I mean, not including uh, sorting cards and putting them all away and crap like that. That's just like the YouTube part of it. Tempest Jin, that card's up in value. Not bad. So yeah, hitting the like button, it means a lot, you skadoosh bags. So hit the like button. There you go. And leave a comment, too. If you leave a comment on videos, that helps a lot, too. Just so you know. Goblin Chain Whirler. Ba -ba boom He did good, man. What a box. This has probably been... One of the best boxes of Dominaria. I have opened better. If you want to see a better box, just go search Dominaria Booster Box Bad Boy Gaming. Look for the biggest uh, opening. Uh, that video was insanity, but this one's a good box, too. Hinterland Harbor. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Last pack to crack. Is Moss back? I don't know. This whole box has been on fire, though, man. Seriously, the whole box has been on fire. We got a Wizards a Retort. The Phoenix. Fall of Thrawn. Foil Fiery Invention. We're going out with a turd. And a Tetsuko. That's not bad. Good old Teddy coming back, man. Teddy rising from the dead. Foil Intervention. Not bad. I appreciate you guys. I love you, man. Let me know how your day's been going. Hope to see you tonight on live stream. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Also, I will be appearing, I think it's Star City Games. I'm not sure who's doing it, but there's going to be another convention in Cleveland, Ohio in about a week and a half, two weeks. I will be there. So I hope you guys make plans to come out and see me and hang out. It's going to be a jolly good time. See you tonight in live stream, skadoosh bags.